Holy shit. Okay. What, what, what was that? What was that? Hmm. Honestly, would you like to know? Yes. Yes, I would. I was looking at a picture of my butt in my phone and I was like, Uh, what? focus the... Can I see that? Um, I don't think you... What? I mean, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I'll help you. Yeah, you are we can say anything in here. No, no, you can't. Oh, boy. Well, yeah, yeah, it's it's soundproof. Oh my goodness. Yes, yeah, so you can say whatever you want in here. Yes. Forte, I'm sorry. I, I will. It was my one. It was my one. That, that's your one. Professionalism. It's Keep out. It. It's gone. Did okay. you see it? It so left. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm right. Flu. I'm, I'm right. My statement. Some, you better behave. Some level of compliance from this individual here. Uh, I mean, no, I don't think so. Not today. We'd like to just go to bench trial with the manor, to be honest. Uh, okay. Uh, well, that is going to have to wait for now. Um, we are, we do have to conclude, you know, sort of the entirety of everything we got going on, including sure. the other individual. Um, yeah, no problem. All right. Well, if, so just to, just to clarify, I imagine he is not willing to speak. Is that correct? There, there, there will be no statement and we would just like to go to bench trial at this time. Okay. Ooh. Uh, like I said, that will have to wait um until we conclude everything but if we ever step out of the room shortly, okay? where they're with a lawyer sure. no we problem. have to step away we're not out here looking to listen to what they have to say do you have any food on you uh yeah actually oh my god better eat them quick okay oh, thank you let's go to see my lawyer come through that door first impressions are really important i was hoping they'd make a good one Oh. All right. In? Uh, well, I'm gonna call an attorney. Give me a moment. Oh, okay. those are the only two available on the yellow pages, uh, unless they're somewhere else. Oh my God, Rhodes is gonna do that thing. Uh, he gonna call a so separate lawyer. That's really funny. All right. Let me go see if I can grab one of these. All right. Um. Um, from North Great Ocean Highway. Uh, the driver of the vehicle. Um, um, uh, Witness the driver. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I excuse Forte? me. I sneezed. I. We better keep it together. I'm really sorry. It just it just snuck up on me. I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh, my bones just jumped out of my skin. That was oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look what you did, asshole. Ah. I'm sorry. I it's ah. dusty in here. <laughs> uh, throw something in the water and then bless you, but also never do that again. For the love of God. Then jump back in the water. Oh, thank you. Bless you, Forte. You guys don't have. You guys don't sneeze. That was not a sneeze. That was like you exercised a demon, and I never want to hear it again. I wish I could. Oh, God. When does the driver throw something uh, in the water and then jump back in the water? That would have scared a demon, actually. I'll be honest. So, how's this guy involved? This is our main suspect. This guy? Yeah. Not yeah. the guy who has... 72 lawyers. Yeah. Okay. 
he was here. He's been here for a long time. The seventy two lawyers guy waiting for this guy uh, to be in the water and then jump back. So in they're the water. connected Officer shortly after yeah. lost visual uh, and cleared. Thirty minutes they apart, the... right? Well, this guy gave up at the initial traffic stops and they flopped. Ah, uh, yeah. If he didn't flee from you, then, then yeah. Th this this yeah. guy in front of us was the one that I we are after searching him. Guaranteed was the driver of the vehicle. He fled. Um, officer shortly after last visual. This is like a serious statement, but it's going to sound not serious. Okay. Is there a SOP against unofficial investigation? What do you mean? Sort of like off, it's not off the record not in our system like if i have like my own you can talk to I... people you can conduct investigations and you know create I, I guess contacts with people but if you are withholding information from the pd then yeah that that could be a problem yeah I, so i'm trying i'm taking the 37 charlie call basically personally all at this right point. mr Mao. Oh, we'll on, talk on, later hold on, hold on. Hello. here we are I got your law. Okay. I need to listen to this. Alright, um... Michael. So there is a con thank you, Michael's side of the story. So there is a conflict of interest, and if you want me to represent you, um, I do have to make you aware of that, and um, you would have to waive that conflict in order to. Uh, lost vision, clear the water uh, for what was thrown. Or do you not want me to represent you, given what you heard today? If I waive the conflict, what does that entail? What does that it, mean? It means that you're not going to try to say some phony business later after the fact, um, because you waived it what was thrown. If you do not wait officer shortly after last vision clear the water for what was thrown uh, I, I can lay it out for you um to to sort of point out a potential area of concern I'm gonna step in there because um, I did capture say, this guy so Siobhan was present for the other individuals uh you know statements mm -hmm. whatever right sort of consider it like inside information you know but the area of concern comes from if she represents you and the other attorney who was with her represents the other person. Um, the conflict arises if that person's defense uh, becomes a finger point to you, or if your defense becomes a finger point to the other person. Does that make sense? Run that again for me. Because okay. my, I feel like no. I can hear someone's phone ringing, and it's brilliant. Oh, oh there we um, go. So the area of concern comes from. Uh, her having been present, or the area of conflict, uh, is stems from her being present for when the individual stated what occurred, um, you know, okay. to their attorneys at the time, uh, which makes her privy to knowledge that, you know, that person said. However, okay. while, you know, that may seem great, what that also means is that if that other individual's defense is to point fingers at you and blame you for everything in your okay. defense or not and but or if your defense is to point fingers at the other individual right you now have to consider whether or not that conflict is going to be problematic in in your case here's the thing they're the only two attorneys available so yeah, if you yeah, perfect all right well I will wave that conflict <laughs> good on you good on you Imagine not having stakes where you care. You only care about doing your fucking job because that's all that actually matters. Uh, radio no units, offense, uh, an individual in a white jacket. I'm losing my bar license. Absolutely. No Girl, I'm with, you. I'm with you on that one. That uh, is for sorry, damn sure. I ain't risking my job for nobody. Don't care uh -huh. who you are. Fuck right? Like, I'm sorry. If you asked me to do that, you're not actually... Uh, circling the scene of where officers were. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, that's fucked up, yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing. Yeah, Listen. Yeah, bro. I'm just saying, I am the person. I don't care if we are blood related. I don't care mm. if we are best friends. All right. If it mm. crossed your mind to do me wrong, we can just pretend we ain't never known each other. Exactly. Look the other way when you cross the street. Mm -hmm. and look at me. Yep. Right, right. Yep. And I, I, like I said, I take it to what I'd probably consider extremes. I don't care if you're, I don't care if you're a sibling. 
a cousin, a brother, mm. on up, uh, doesn't a matter. Child. D d ch listen, do me wrong. Goodbye. Anyways. Amen. Um, so, uh, Mr. Mao here uh, has been read his rights. Obviously requested an attorney given why you're here. Uh, but I'll give you the rundown as to what occurred. Um, I was heading northbound on... Well, actually, I was not heading northbound. I was on Great Ocean Highway, and I clocked a vehicle doing 100 miles an hour northbound on Great Ocean. Uh, it took me a while to catch up to it. Uh, finally did. Uh, vehicle was also reported stolen. Um, so, you know, I conducted a normal traffic stop. Everything is fine. Uh, it was very likely just going to be a slap on the wrist. Hey, don't do it again. Um, both individuals were relatively compliant. Um, Alex mm -hmm. here being the driver of said vehicle. Um, upon asking them to step out because this vehicle is evidence of a crime, uh, you know, we were going to get it impounded. I begin looking through the glove box to document what's inside, to which we locate, if I recall correctly, 98 bags of marijuana. What? Um, 98, I believe. No. Okay. No, unfortunately not. Take one down, throw it in the so ocean, 98 bag, bags of marijuana up, in the fucking car. So, at, at that me, point... Officer, what was your name? Uh, Rhodes? Lovely. Thank Matt you. Rhodes, correct. Uh, located an individual oh my God, in a white that's jacket so on a bicycle. Oh my God. He's kind of notorious. Oh my God. Y'all think so? Yeah. The name does sound familiar from like about. Flattery's going to help you here, right? He was, um, uh, he was pretty much tied with Wrangler for my favorite cop. Oh my God. That's so nice. <laughs> wow. Except, listen, I don't hear the thing. If I say I'm going to follow through with something, I'm going to follow through with it. Completely I'm, unrelated I'm a, to the fact I'm that I'm going... here. Rhodes is my favorite cop. Oh, my God. That's so you're kind. Going to individual. Oh, it really is a good day. Uh, um, okay, so so here's the thing. Um, prior to asking them to step out, uh, I did get both of their identifications. The identification provided by this individual, who I, I do need a fingerprint, but I'm running under the assumption here this is Mr. Mao. Um, provided me. I told you my name, didn't I? Did you say Alex Mao? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, perfect. Um, here's the thing: I haven't fingerprinted you. Uh, the identification is expired, right? But that's the point I'm trying to get at. When asked for ID, I was provided an ID that expired at the end of 2023 by the driver, this individual here. Um, to which I asked for an identification from the passenger um, to see if you know if they could head up to Polito, um... rent a vehicle, and you know get their way back down to the city if necessary, or if they'd have to call a friend, taxi, whatever. Um, so I did get the identification of the passenger, who's a Michael Manx, I believe, M-A-N-X. Um, from right. there, uh, both individuals, again, were asked to step out. Um, at that point, uh, once I searched the vehicle, I did inform officers as to what was located within the vehicle. Um, I then instructed the individuals to put their hands behind their back. They'd be placed in cuffs. And Mr. Mao then ran to the driver's seat of the vehicle and began fleeing. Um, I was then able to place Mr. Manx in cuffs. He did not resist. Um, at that point, because of the uh, because of the situation I had in me being primary, I then tasked uh, Officer Troy with dealing with uh, Mr. Manx, who again is the other individual. I then joined the pursuit. Uh, the pursuit ended, it was reckless. Um, high rates of speed, uh, you know, throughout the city. Long story short, it ended with an attempted ocean dumping of the vehicle that failed. Um, the individual then uh, swam over uh, to a little... Um, like a barge? barge. Yeah, like a waste a little, barge, yeah. Exactly, a little barge. Um, then threw something into the ocean, uh, jumped back into the water, and we did not see him for quite a bit. Um, at that point, we, I mean, we had some additional officers. We were unable to locate the individual. Um, but then we had an officer locate uh, an individual in a uh, jacket around the general area. And upon Flop seeing said individual, he was, Flop was there at the traffic stop, he was able to identify them as the driver of the vehicle. Um, and Flop had close proximity to this person throughout the traffic stop um, because Flop was actually going to be the one to uh, cuff him and then attempted to tackle him when he went into the vehicle. 
Um, so then we chased him on a bicycle. He was then uh, eventually knocked off the bicycle and received medical, and now we're here. But the issue of concern here isn't necessarily the joyriding. I mean, it is, right? We're looking at joyriding, reckless evading, resisting. Um, but we're also looking at something in relation to the marijuana here. Uh, now, I am going to be real. I, I, I ain't weighed the baggies, okay? I, I ain't weighed them. Um, but I'm going to assume this is a considerable amount given the quantity of bags After versus the, the actual for... weight. Um, give me a second here. There we go. So that's currently where we stand. Um, Any amount greater than four ounces is felony. Uh, this is quite a lot of marijuana. You are not wrong. You are not it's wrong. Not a QP. A uh, quarter pound. Uh, yeah. Yeah. On the bike. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, we all know more about drugs in this room than you do. Yeah. <laughs> really embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I'm going to be real. I, I'm going to have to consider. Well, I mean, how about this? Um, I imagine, Siobhan, you want to speak to your client. I discuss the situation at hand, get yeah. their version of events. Oh, I definitely um, do after what I just heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I, as you heard in the other room, the other individual isn't likely going to say anything. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean, uh, you know, Mr. Mao here would be unwilling to speak. So I'll give you, you all that the opportunity. Dilemma. Well, I mean, for me, you it's a matter it. of, it's a matter of, I, I very much so operate, uh, under, you know, you work with me, I work with you, right? Like the potential here exists that we're looking at felony totally. possession with intent. But again, you work with me, I work with you. We could potentially drop this down to just felony possession. Okay. In exchange for information. If this fucking report disappears, oh. I feel uh, like I'm so going to read this forever. Be. Oh, wait, real quick. Where were the bags oh, yeah. found in the glove box or the trunk or both? Uh, glove uh, box. Glove box of the vehicle. <sighs> All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Laugh it off, lad. Well, no, no, I'm just saying. Glove box in... Flop, what are we charging with uh, as associate with, by the way? Aside from Joe Rodden. I don't even... I don't even know. I mean, at this point, I don't even know if I'm going to talk to Rhodes. I mean, I I'll let Rhodes yeah. kind of hold it. Uh, it's it's y'all scene. No, yeah. I, I'm Between you and I, I don't really. This guy's been here forever. I don't see him getting charged. I mean, based off my experience and training, right? He, he should be cut loose. I would think so. This is up to Rhodes. What's up? Yeah. I just wrote a fucking monologue for this, but. Yeah, I think Clover's taking care of our end of the report. Okay. Uh, be advised, by the way. Um, vehicles spontaneously combust when uh, a repair kit's applied to them. Yeah, so I hear. What? Here we are. We're only yeah. just hearing, learning oh, this today. Hold on, hold on. Hard way. All right. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna peek into this uh this interrogation and make sure that they're okay, unless someone has recently. Let me check. That caused damage. Hey guys, we're just catching up. Uh, plop. Uh, were you able to uh, get a weight on what was found in the... No, I'm bad with the weighing part, but it is an evidence. <laughs> uh, okay, perfect. If you want to read my statement, it, that is in full. I, I underlined specifically the identifying factor because I, don't, I still don't even know the guy's full name. But I noticed he, had, he was wearing black and color clothing with very short hair and a heavy accent. And everything except for the clothing matched this guy. And I was like, holy shit, wait, this guy's adding up. And as soon as I asked for his name, he pedaled off and screamed, I ain't going back. Yeah, no. Uh, as soon as I saw him, I 100% yeah. recalled uh, what he looked like. I remember the scar going down his face. Yes. In addition, so the thing is, he was wearing um, he was wearing glasses at the time that I pulled him over. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, so... The... the the passenger. Yeah. I mean, the Michael reality Manx. here is um, he didn't flee. 
he was passenger in a stolen vehicle. Mm-hmm. Let me see here. You'd be getting joyriding at the most from from that, unless you wanted to push, uh, you know, the felony or the possession charges. I don't actually think joyriding. Hmm. Okay. Warren's been on shift for eighteen hours. He really crazy. The possession. Ah, oh, you know what I have? I'm gonna grab chips and dip. I really shouldn't. Oh, I got so okay, much so dip today. I don't know why. Uh, yeah. Because uh, it doesn't say driver or passenger. It just says the taking of or operating of a vehicle. So the thing is, I I can't, like, beyond a reasonable doubt, prove he assisted in the taking of it. I found passenger. roasted red pepper right. goat cheese dip. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to cut him loose, but that's up to you. It just sounded well, good. For me. Um, okay. Review. I think I'm fairly confident in pushing constructive possession on multiple individuals. I I'm not necessar necessarily opposed to it. Okay, we'll have to advise them the um, changes in charges. I'm just trying to. Uh, what else did he have on his possession? Uh, just empty bags and a knife. What kind of empty bags? Stand by. They're on my person right now. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just um, I'll hand this over to you. Okay. You got uh, ten of those. And my individual had one. Interesting. This is good dip. Holy shit. Red Very pepper. Very interesting. Oh, um, dip. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. I mean, the the long story short is 98 bags of weed. I need to go get that weed. Um, here, let me let me go do that. Let me see what I can do. Give me a moment. I, I might be able oh. to help you with that. All right. We'll be back. I have never had the attempt to try and figure out how to weigh this shit, so. I got your luck. Thank you. I'm going to need help with this one, though, because I can't operate this lock. Got it. Oh, my God. Do you know what I just realized? The evidence room? Yeah. I know where I'm going. It's over here. Ah, to the right. I knew this. Me too. I definitely didn't forget to drop the bag right. off here. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I completely forgot to... Oh, this is... This looks like just about a kilo. Yep. Is it a... Locker I-1938 or 1938? Yes, I-1938. Right. Yeah, I mean... All right, those bags are included. Okay. I mean, based on the way that it's being scaled... I'd say there's probably about 980 grams. Is, is that math? A thousand grams is one kilo. Is that correct? One thousand grams is one kilo. See, I, I'm good at I'm good at math. I can hate math. I hate this. I I hate every bit of this. All of it. Now, in saying that, um, I am gonna take one. And bring it over to the armory and see whether or not we can analyze this. I would love to know. Because I'm curious. I don't want to jump the gun, but I was very curious.
Nope. We Fuck! I'm so sad. Oh. I'm sad. Damn it. We it's okay. We need a lab ASAP. I agree. Oh, oh, let me go throw this back in evidence. Oh, yeah, true. There we are. Yeah, I, I don't know about... um. I, I think if you want to make the case for constructive possession on the passenger, you can, based on where it was located, but... I mean, I think I, think I could push it on both. I would think so. I think most definitely you can push it on the one guy who was already throwing shit. Yeah. Appreciate it. Um, I feel like hundred percent. Yeah, I, I feel like there's a winning case for the uh, the passenger, but I also see your side of it too, pretty clearly. All right. Um, IP. Chill. So this individual, uh, last I heard, is requesting a bench trial, regardless of what the charges are, which is fine. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, we're, we're going to hold on that until we deal with the other individual. Once we figure out uh, how that's going to work out, we'll, uh, we'll then figure out what we're doing with this individual. Um, I do need food if someone wouldn't mind picking up some food. Uh, I can give yeah, you money, no issue. Uh, do you know what you're charging them with, though? Um, at minimum, it's going to be felony possession. Uh, at most, felony possession with intent. I did pick up Mexicali dip, so I'm going to try this, all too. Right, who all needs food? You know what? I'm just going to get two I for everybody. Two gotcha. I have two burgers on me in case anyone's desperate. I have two burgers and two energy drinks. Um, I, I can hold until uh, he returns with That food. was not backseat. Thankfully. Okay, you know X-Mage Point meta. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I mean, if you really want to play this game, have a nice day. I go in there and just chat with them, but I think the likelihood of anything being fruitful is pretty slim. Yeah. I'll just, I'll give them an update. Hello? I'll be right back. I just need to take a look. Uh, knock, knock. Lavender. Mm -hmm. Hey, whoa, 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 back no, up! Oh, Wrong oh my God, room! Ah. There, you go. there you go. This came this way. Oh. Sorry. Mm -hmm. People, when they think they're right in Twitch chat, I only call out people when they do dumb shit. <laughs> I know you didn't just say that. Don't. I, what? Uh, we look true. the same. Girl, who look the same? Who? That's not true. What? Damn. Damn. Two blind men? Yeah. Oh. Damn, you've reduced me down to being blonde? That's crazy. Girl, the oh. bleach getting to ya. Oh. <laughs> okay, mm. still getting to ya. No, it's not. Mm. No, it's not. Mm. Uh, if you say so. Mm. If you say so. Mm. I got places to be that ain't say, in a like, cell. I feel like this is my time to step in. The sassy gotta, it gotta get cut back. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Knock knock. <laughs> what the hell? What? What did I do? Knock knock. <laughs> knock knock. We still I'm knocking. I am Oh hello. Okay, I just, I just want to make sure. You know, Hey, Lucas tells you how it is. That's what matters. God, this this dip, this is the best dip you could buy from a grocery store. I love it so much. Hello. Uh -huh. Huh? Hello. Hello. Hey. Give me one second. Okay.
Dad, I have a question. Chocolate almond brownie or chocolate coconut macaroon? Will do. There we are. Have a good night. There we go. Wait, who's having a good night? Cornwood. Oh, okay. All right, Rose, ready? <sighs> oh, yes, please. Well, let me give you money. That's you know what? Um, Take it all. Miss King, please. Thank you. Look me in the eye. Stand by on drinks. Nothing wrong. Can you send the almond brownie? I don't know, they both sound Thank good. you. Appreciate it. I got both. Well, Thank you so much, my man. I appreciate that. My pleasure. Going with the chocolate fudge. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Knock, knock. Just, just, just peeking in. Is everyone okay? I got food for you as well. I just want to get. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. There you go. Stand by on drinks. Yo! I'll give you a that is a good fucking. What the hell? Damn, I didn't expect that to be that good. It does have an artificial sweetener in it. If I start getting a headache, I know what did it. Got any question for it, Dave? Now. Uh, all right. Oh, this is my favorite part of the job. What's that? Very. Uh, I'm not trying to like blow myself, but what I'm very good at interrogation. It's like one of my things. Is it now? I didn't say forte because I'm trying to be serious about it because it's real. I know how to I know how to corner a conversation basically. Okay. Even you have to even when someone asks for a lawyer at the moment. You can like tap dance on that, but you have to be doing it right. Uh Troy? Yes, sir. Right. Uh I would not recommend locking doors immediately upon exiting. Mm -hmm. Uh because if you do, they will stay open for others. Stay open. Yeah. Um, so essentially, what's happening is you're walking out, and in sort of one fluid motion, uh, you're locking it. In uh, you, you probably suspect you made it past. You're probably clipping your elbow on it, um, and then a lot of others are seeing it wide open. Yeah. So the ATM is across the street. So going to go far. The door ain't oh, swung shut saying. yet. I see what you're saying. Okay. Easy adjustment. And how much money did you get paid? Or it's playing like always. Lucas, did you need food? Yeah. I might could take a little bit if you have some extra. Yeah, I got some. Thank you. French fries. All right. I, oh, sorry, go ahead. I knock, nice knock. It's it. been two minutes, probably. There you go. Thank you. My pleasure. So what, what's going on? Thank you. Okay. I'm going to step in there real quick. You can listen. I, I, I would just stay here. Um, no, yes, yes, a raid. The book. So what are you acting like this for? What? Well, yeah, a raid. Well, it depends on. I'm sorry, can you give us a second, actually? Can you just yeah, give yeah, us? I'm yeah, sorry, absolutely. I thought we were good. Absolutely. And, um, no, I, no, I have in two minutes, so, um, I'm sorry. There's no fucking way. Here we are. I'm assuming if this goes to bench, you're gonna probably need me there um uh so here here's the reality mm -hmm. um i i i'm fairly confident on pushing constructive possession on two people right uh -huh. however if mr mao is willing to take the possession charge um that's that's a whole different that's a whole different ball game definitely um because at that point believe it or not i'd be content releasing the other individual um because at that point i've been i've been given uh you know proof or evidence that this individual was the true person in possession whereas beforehand 
you know, I, I, I have no problems going for, for joint constructive possession. Um, but if one person takes full responsibility, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, and in addition to that, uh, what I'm willing to do is drop it down from family possession with intent as a... Uh, ooh, someone done... Sir Troy? What's the why? name of the... Yes, sir. Oh. There's a lot of whys in the report written by you, I suspect. <laughs> That's all right. Um, so here's, you're good. You're good. Uh, here's what I'd be willing to do. Um, you know, if he, if he allows me to search his apartment, um, if he, if he takes responsibility, which I suspect he will on the basis that like, he, he isn't trying to play off that it wasn't him originally. He knows why he ran. What's up, Glitch? Um, How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Now there, there could have even been more. I want to make coffee. Right? We saw him chuck something in the ocean. You know what? I am gonna make coffee. We, I feel I like mean, we're gonna be I'm here be for real. a little while. I do want to get a scuba tank and go and check. Um, but I mean, eh, I mean, almost a kilo of weed. As far as I saw, at least, wasn't there an announcement referencing marijuana? Uh, there, mm, yes. What, what were you getting at before? The, I'm sorry. I, the I, announcement I, stated that any amounts of marijuana is yes. illegal. Yeah, but I'm, there, there's no minute, but, I'm more so referencing. I know what you're talking about. There was the announcement on like how much they weighed specifically because beforehand baggies were labeled improperly. But I, but think, I think now I could they're be up wrong. to date. Yes, I think that's what it was. I don't want to derail. I do have a, a, a counterpoint, too, for our friend who uh, tried to dump the car. How, uh, how far do you want to go with him? Uh, depends on how compliant he is. Um, okay. It sounds like he's going to be willing to work with us. Uh, now, whether or not that's actually the case, well, I don't know. Well, all I'm going to say is intent to deprive the vehicle permanently from the original owner. Oh, yeah. Grand Theft Auto would 100% oh, oh, apply yeah. here. Um, I still need to fingerprint him. I was, for now, I'm just going to go with, uh, with Mao stuff. I don't even know if he has a profile. He did not when I checked. But yeah, I, I do hope you're doing uh, well, and I hope you're doing here. good. What's going on. We are working on... Knock, knock, knock. Come in. Okay, okay. all right. We're, we're ready now. We're Perfect. To stay. Oh. <clears throat> Coming on in. I apologize. He's uh, would it, would it consented to a raid. Fucking stop being so fucking... So fucking like a little bitch. Oh, God, no, embarrassing me in front of the cool cops. Jesus. <clears throat> there are cool cops. Flop is here. Cool, oh calm, and collected. That's me. Triple C. <clears throat> you know? It, that's yeah. what it I is. Think you're, I think you're pretty GGG. The, the cool cops are oh. here. Flop's here. Did you hear what that? What that stand for? Did you hear that? Good, giving, and generous. We're winning. Aww. I am those. Siobhan, you're so nice. I was I your friendly running neighborhood, into you. Judge. I know. I haven't seen you since I came back. I'm so glad. I'm I... sorry it was like this. <sighs> Look, we're gonna have dad. to catch up one day. We will. We're gonna have to we catch will. up. We are. Okay, so you were talking about us going uh, through his property. Yeah, yeah, we were gonna consent. What if we consented to a raid um to uh get that drop down to felony possession? Um okay. Uh tell you what, what if how about I run this by you? Okay, I'm gonna okay. be very upfront and honest okay. because I feel right. I feel that over many years people are capable of changing even for the worse. Um, and I True. want to ensure that people still understand that I I have not changed in the sense that I'm a man of my word. And if I say I'm going to do something, uh, I'm I'm going to follow through with that. Um, so essentially what I'm saying here is it sounds like Mr. Mao is being fairly compliant, right? Um, I think uh, Mr. Mao is very likely going to uh, likely take a deal, not try to play off as though he didn't know what was in the car um or anything like that um and i also believe that 
the likelihood of both individuals claiming they had no idea it was there is fairly slim. I think one is likely going to try to take responsibility. Um, I, I suspect that to be Mr. Mao here, though I could be wrong. Um, here's the reality. If neither person sort of admits to it, and I can tell you now the other person ain't said a word to me, doesn't plan on saying a word to me, um, I did intend on pushing uh, joint constructive possession uh, on the basis that both individuals were in the car, right? However, that doesn't need to happen um, if, again, there's there's a decent level of compliance here. And I'm not talking crazy level of compliance. I'm not saying you have to tell me, you know, every last bit of detail. But what I am saying is if one person admits to it, I don't have grounds to push it on a second individual. Right. right, of course, because it would be crazy to charge somebody else for a crime somebody else has already pled guilty to. It, exactly. Um, especially when it comes to possession-related stuff. I, I, I'm i certain I could push joint constructive possession on something within a car, but what I'm not going to do is push that when someone takes full responsibility for that, you know? Um, and again, I, I think... Oh, by the way, we did weigh it. 980 grams. Is that um, right? Yeah, yeah, almost that's... a kilo of weed. Yeah, that's kind of that's called a brick on the streets. <sighs> Nine hundred and eighty <laughs> grams. <laughs> yeah, this guy was ready to build a house. Um, can I? <laughs> could you do? I've never seen that much marijuana in one place at once. Could I see it after? Um, sure, <laughs> sure. Is that considered uh, a lot? That's a lot. Okay. It's a lot. A lot. Yeah, uh, is it 28.35 grams to an ounce? Uh, I know math. grams to an ounce, right? Sorry, what'd you say? Um, what did you say? Or ounce, Siobhan? Ounce. Or... What, how did you pronounce my name again? Siobhan. No, Siobhan. what'd you say first? Siobhan. Siobhan. Look at me. Look at me. Siobhan, right? Siobhan. What did I say about calling people out their name? Siobhan. <laughs> Said you don't oh, do this. Oh, you whoa, don't whoa, call Siobhan people out no. their name. Oh, Jesus. No, Siobhan, no. No, he mispronounced my name, and calling people out their name is a terrible thing to do. It is fighting mm -hmm. words. Right? I, it was an open-handed slap to leave him his dignity. We, we can't I be agree, but we can't be assaulted no. officers. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like so, I was assaulted by a wet fish. Oh, oh my god. Fish? <laughs> now he's uh, insulting me. Oh, but Okay, you know what? Repent my name one more time. Right now. Just repent my name one more time, okay? Miss Fitz, Mrs. Fitzpatrick. All right, that works. Okay, okay. Right, I apologize right. for slapping so, you. Um, my question I apologize here... for all the times I'm going to get your name wrong in the future. All right, well, now we're even. Um, okay, so let me <laughs> let me ask you this. Um, I, I mean, if you go back on this, it is what it is. Uh, if, if we need to, we can place a warrant out for the arrest of the other individual. But at minimum... Uh, is there an expectation, and when I say expectation, I mean like real expectation that there's going to be a guilty plea at minimum? Someone to karate chop the senior buns yes. manager need okay. EMS. If that's the case. That's I can crazy. go ahead and release that other individual. Hooray! On, on that basis, I have no reason to, you know. And I'm going to inform the other attorney because I I want there to be any sort of Brady violation, okay? Oh, we don't have Brady. No Brady violation. There's no we... Brady. Though keeping oh, an open communication okay. is a good thing. Yeah, no, go wait, look on the, the docket. Yeah, look on the docket. We don't have Brady. <sighs> Damn, hold up. Oh, that makes our job uh -huh. a lot easier. Well, you know what? I still feel I have a, a ethical moral and moral obligation. Thank you for being like that. I felt that, that was personal. <laughs> It wasn't. I'm sorry. Knock, knock. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I have good news. <laughs> she is talking about the Murphy case. <laughs> uh, the good news is uh, the other individual has uh, accepted responsibility for the possessions in said vehicle. Um, prior to, we were going to be pushing uh, sort of a, a joint constructive possession on the basis of something being found within the vehicle in close proximity to the passenger. Um, so, uh, given we now have, uh, testimony indicating that the other individual was the person responsible, uh, we are actually going to be releasing Mr. Manx here. You're not pressing charges at all? Uh, that is correct. And what is the report number for this incident? Uh, it is going to be, uh, 1938.
Um, oh. Beyond that, was there, was there anything else you needed? No, nope. and these charges are not going to be refiled at a later date. Uh, I have no reason to believe so. Um, the only charge that was going to be pushed was possession on the basis of constructive possession. But again, the other individual is taking full responsibility. Um, so we have no reason to believe uh, Mr. Manx, given what was stated, uh, would have had involvement. Okay. Very good. Uh, I do have one question. Yeah, yeah ask away. Uh, so based on the, there being the one charge overall, uh, do you know why he was arrested on the scene? Uh, on the basis of constructive possession. Uh, so when I searched the glove box, there was close to 100 bags of marijuana within the glove box that he was sitting directly in front of. So he was um, arrested on constructive possession before you had the other person in custody and knew there was weed in the car to begin with. Uh, well, so it's a little complicated because he was detained um, as part of the situation. Uh, we then searched the vehicle, found it, um, at that point, the other individual took the vehicle and fled. Uh, but yes, we were going to be pushing constructive possession, but we're now dropping the charges. Okay. Very Any well. additional questions beyond that? No, I'll just need that report as soon as you have it ready. Yep, absolutely. I'm smelling um, a lawsuit. It is going to be we're listed going as back on the docket, until, baby. Let's we go. Everything. I don't have an ETA on that, um, but you do have the report number, so. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, whenever you'd like to file a FOIA request, you can go ahead and do so. Uh, it'll uh, be fulfilled as soon as we as soon as we can. Who's the primary officer on it? Uh, it's going to be me, Officer okay. Rhodes. All right. Can you take this as my filing of the FOIA report then? Uh, unfortunately, you just not. have to return it to me when you get it done. That's um. So, so okay. This might get a little complicated, um, mm -hmm. because while we do have some instruction. Uh, given the Malton FOIA process, let me take a yeah, look that's here. Yeah, not, that's not in place yet. It hasn't been announced. Um, It's a new process that's starting, I think, maybe tomorrow, but it's fine. If you want to follow that process, I don't have a problem with that. That's not a big deal. Um, I do primarily because it does indicate, uh, like, it, it has specific instructions, and while it may not be mm -hmm. or may not have been announced yet, I'm I'm gonna be real. I don't suspect the report is gonna be concluded before this gets implemented. Um, mm -hmm. So it's probably best that we do uh, do get that all sorted. Um, so we do have uh, 72 hours to get everything filed appropriately. Um, now, obviously, yeah. that's up to 72 hours. It could be concluded in 24. Who knows? Is there a captain um, available currently? Uh, there. I don't know if they're available. There is one on duty. Okay, which captain? Uh, Slacks is on duty at the moment. Okay. Is, is, um, is, is there something I can help you with? No, it ha it'd have to be a captain. Okay, fair enough. Would a senior um, be able to help by chance? I'm just uh, offering it if out. If you don't, if you don't mind clearing the room, I I'll I'll talk briefly with you. Okay. Um, I mean, do you want me to? I just want to we... clarify. You 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 want to speak to me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so question, um, is this something that you want to, like, do you want me to grab your suspect's possessions or your client's possessions, um, uh, get them released while you speak with the plot? Uh, I mean, Are you this okay is, with that? Because if so, this is up you to do you that ultimately. So... I mean, I'm, I'm happy waiting, and I'm okay. interested in pursuing what me and my lawyer have spoken about prior. Very good. So, I, so you're going to wait? Yes. Okay, understood. All right, uh, Flop, um, tell you what. Once you conclude that, if you release Mr. Manx, mm -hmm. um, he will have to grab his possessions from in there, but beyond that, he is free to go. Okay, all good. All right. Let me go get that door yeah. for you. So yeah, thank you. I'm going to preference this real quick. Uh, if, mm -hmm. for any reason, I feel like this needs to go to a captain, I'm going to cut you off and just let you know but I'm willing to try and help hopefully clear up what's going on. So go ahead. I am just going to state this. You can decide if you want to get a captain. Okay. I have high, I am highly suspect and have reason to believe that the police officers who handled my client committed a felony. Okay. Do you wish to go into some detail? Uh, yes. Uh, in fact, I'll let him tell it in his words. This is the time when you can speak and tell him this, what you, or tell the officer what you told us. I'm going to ask you, uh, I don't know, I believe you've already been Mirandized. Obviously, we're past that at this point. 
Are you okay if I take notes? If this is relating to... Uh... This is a report at this time. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to be grabbing my notepad. Just give me just a minute. Damn, mm -hmm. take your time off because I'm ready. Bear with me. Uh, could I get your full first and last real quick? My name is uh, Michael Manx. And the Manx is M-A-N-X. Is Michael common spelling? Michael common spelling, indeed, yeah. Okay. Uh, Michael, it's good to meet you. My name's Flop. I, I know we met me, on let scene. Me get a little bit closer. Yeah, no, no, no you're, you're, fine. you're fine. You're fine. Um, j just to clarify, uh, I, I didn't really get a chance to properly say hello to you, but it, it is good to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not under the best circumstances, but I am ready whenever you are. At the end of this, I am probably going to ask for your ID just so that I can make sure that it is noted who I spoke to. And I can bring this to the appropriate people. Okay. Um, um, we'll have to get my ID from the return belonging, just to make that known. That's fine. All good. Uh, go ahead and uh, give me a rundown. Um, 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 I can start us off just with a little bit yeah, of the context yeah, about how. So essentially, what happened is uh, the way the officers explained it to me. Uh, the car. If you could do had... me a huge yeah, favor, uh, when you explain this. Just bear in mind, mm -hmm. I cannot write as quick as most people can speak. Oh, uh, you're fine. No, yeah, I just you're wanted fine. to make sure that... I'll uh, try to be slower. Yeah, no, you're good. I, I'm going to note that as much as I can here, so go ahead. Yeah, that's fine. And if you need me to clarify or slow down, just you know, tell me to shut up. It's fine. I'm used to it. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so the officers uh, essentially, I believe, pulled them over, and he got out of the car. Uh, this was a flag stolen car. He leaned against the wall. He did not try to run. He did not resist. Uh, he was compliant all throughout, and then, as you know, charges were eventually dropped. However, when he was placed into custody and detained, he was put into the back of a cop car. And this is where I'll let him pick up the story and just kind of tell you, and you can get the rest of the details about yeah, the initial stories from the reports that already exist. So. Okay. Uh, give me a minute to catch up here real quick. Uh, yeah. I know we just met the other day. I'm, I'm so bad with names. Could you just recount me real quick your, your first and last as well? Xavier Monroe here. Here's my ID. And I'm the public defender who was assigned the case. Uh, uh, uh the officer's unseen. Uh, instructed Michael step out of the car. I'm just going to mention this now, unrelated to the case. Um, at some point, I really, really need to take a quick nap because uh, that hip hop kind of scuffed me up a bit. But we, okay. we're fine for now. It, um, we might be able to just run, run you out of the building and back in. Nah, I think it, it's like not that type of problem. It's tough of the okay. one. Like I just need to quickly like you know, close my eyes. And sure. Kind of no problem. Understood. Yeah, we, All we good. Time. Okay. Uh, so just to clarify, Xavier, your words. Uh, I'm... I'm going to try and verbatim it, but I'm also going to paraphrase it a little bit. Just That's fine. So the officers on scene instructed Michael to step out of the car. Uh, Michael complied and stepped out and lead on the wall, uh, in which case he was placed in the car. And you, and then at that point, uh, that's when you're handing it over now to Michael to explain, correct? Yeah, he was placed into custody. All I right. think would be the right way to put it. Yeah. Feel free to correct anything that I said incorrectly. No, okay. uh, so, so far, we've been, we've been spot on. Um... Can I ask that like, this isn't for, for no, it's just a question. What is the like legal terminology, like the, dis the distinct meaning of being detained? Is detained in cuffs or is detained, it, you know? Detained I can let your lawyer answer has... if you would like. Yeah, no worries. I'll handle the legal definition. No, no, yeah, so, you're good. The detainment is uh, essentially if an officer has reasonable suspicion to believe that you have committed a crime. In other words, uh, being in a stolen car would definitely be reasonable suspicion. It would also be probable cause. So reasonable suspicion and probable cause are different. Uh, probable cause is a higher standard. Probable cause gives them the right to search you. Reasonable suspicion gives them the right to detain you and to do a Terry Frisk on you. So you were detained and they had PC to search you. So they searched you because you were in a stolen car. Uh, that doesn't mean you're guilty of anything. It just means that. You oh my were God! This in the is the, the vehicle that was crime that was being committed. This was the explosion. Like right. So just just a one final clarify. I was detained from the moment I willingly stepped out of the car and stood beside the officer, not when I was cuffed, correct? You were detained the moment you stepped out of the car. If you had resisted, you could have been charged with resisting arrest. 
Yeah, perfect. That, that, that's the only thing I wanted to clear up because I wanted to make sure I, I was clearly understanding when in fact I was detained and that's distinctly different from when I was in cuffs and in custody. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, officer, if you're ready. Yep. Uh, um, same thing I told your lawyer. Uh, just make sure you yeah, speak yeah, yeah. slow, concisely uh, so I can try and keep and make sure I get all the, the details. If I stop you at any point, it's just to clarify some questions. Uh, but whenever you are ready, feel free. Perfect. Remarkably, it's it's a very simple story. So as my lawyer Xavier said, after I was detained, you know, on the side of the road, leaning against the rock, it was made clear that we were going to be shortly under arrest, right? So my friend, who is the person that got me into the situation unwillingly, decided that he was going to flee, right? Seeing that that was happening, I was not interested in resisting arrest because I was not, in my eyes, guilty of anything. I had no reason to run. Like, I wasn't going to commit a crime to avoid being booked for a crime that I was not aware of and believed that I didn't do. So in that point, uh, shortly after the police broke off in chase, I was cuffed by, um, I believe it's Rose, blonde haired officer. Then he departed and went and joined it on the chase. And I was left in the hands of officers Desmond and Clover. Now, at that point, I was in cuffs. Like, I was in custody. Uh, you know, they rung it in. They put me into their car. And they told me that I'd be taken down to MRPD. You know, lovely. I distinctly... Now, this is the vivid detail that needs to be... This is the entire crux of the argument. When we got into the car, the engine of this car was smoking, right? <laughs> um, you know, we made a little joke about how repairing today in the city is pretty tough. You know, the repair kits have some fault, you know, manufacturing issue. I warned the officers when I got into the car that this car was really damaged. Like, we, you know, we're probably not going to be able to make it. I warned them. I said, I can see the engine light on, the second. vehicle's smoking. Yep. Uh... Uh... Sorry if I'm, if I'm misremembering. I'm just playing catch up. Uh, you are stating that the, or so you, you told the officers that the vehicle was smoking and that it was going to explode. Is that what you now, said? Now, now there's a, there's a clear point yet. When I first entered the car, right. When we first got in, I said that the vehicle was damaged and like, you know, I don't think it's going to make it. And I said, you know, even if we drive safe, like it's not going to cut it. I was assured by the officers at that point in time that no, it'll be fine. We'll drive safe. We'll drive slow. Ha ha. You know, it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm a good driver. Whatever. Jokes. Now, at that point, I uh, had to be in my head for a minute, you know, like a brief second. So as soon as I was back, this is the span of 30 seconds. We have now taken off. We're driving. I said again, this time firmly, like, lady, listen, this car is going to explode. So, you know, when we first got into the car, I made note of the problem. And then shortly after, I, I said, you know, what you just said there, it's going to explode. Like the car is going to catch on fire. You know, I, I said it not when I entered, you know, after we started moving, because then it became abundantly clear to me that it was definitely going to explode. And at that point, I was told that it's fine. And within 30 seconds, the engine was on fire. So, you know, at that point, we were driving like, you know, full speed down the highway, whatever the limit is. Like I was you know being booked and they were basically laughing off my claims that the vehicle was going to explode you know oh it's fine like, we'll drive slow uh shortly after i said it right you know mentioned the explosion vehicle caught fire we pulled up on the side and you know unfortunately i had to beg and scream for officer clover to remove me from the vehicle because i was detained cuffed and locked in the back seat uh unfortunately for all of us i wasn't able to be pulled out before the, you know, the vehicle did in fact explode and after that fact we were taken to the hospital you know nothing really important transpired on the you know in the transit to the hospital but um once we were there i made note to say to you know officer clover that like I i'm gonna sue for this like you know that was negligent what had been done and she said listen yeah you told me to explode but that was like 10 seconds before it happened and i said ma'am listen like i'm i'm not 